Today, we're talking the all-new series from Walt Disney Animation Studios, Zootopia Plus, and celebrating Filipino American History Month with director Josie Trinidad and so much more. I'm Jenny, and this is What's Up Disney Plus, where we talk all things Disney Plus. As you may have noticed, our set has gone through a bit of a makeover. I'll be your host this week, and Andre will be hosting next episode. Let's dive right in. Man, oh man, this month on Disney Plus has given us a lot. We saw new episodes of Marvel Studios' She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. It's one of my favorite shows right now. The writing is great. Tatiana Maslany's delivery and comedic timing is amazing. And that finale, that finale was something else, okay? And then there's the new season of Dancing with the Stars, Big Shot, the premiere of Hocus Pocus 2. And if you know me, you know I've been waiting for this for a very long time, and it did not disappoint. I especially loved the young actresses who played Winifred, Sarah, and Mary. My God, they were so good. And, I mean, I have to mention Andor. It's seriously one of the best series I've ever seen. I've been a huge fan of Diego Luna for such a long time, so I was thrilled that we got to see more of his character, Cassian Andor, his backstory, how he got to where he did. He had to leave so much behind, and ultimately, it's a really personal story of living in the diaspora, which a lot of people can relate to, which is why I cannot wait to see where the series takes us. And speaking of series I'm excited to see, now we're going back to the city of Zootopia with Zootopia Plus. The series of six all-new shorts, each inspired by a different genre of TV shows and movies, takes us deeper into the wild metropolis and features some of its familiar residents. Now, I'm so excited to be joined by one of the directors of Zootopia Plus, Josie Trinidad. Welcome to the show, Josie. Hi, Jenny. It's great to be here. Oh my gosh, I am stoked to have you here. Huge fan of Zootopia and so excited for Zootopia Plus. What can audience expect from Zootopia Plus. So Zootopia Plus is an original series from Walt Disney Animation Studios, and it's made up of six clever shorts that are woven into the original movie. You were one of the heads of story for Zootopia. What is it like returning to this world as one of the directors of these new shorts? You know what, Jenny? It was a true honor. I was the co-head of story on the original film with the brilliant and very kind Jim Reardon, who was a great mentor of mine to be able to continue these shorts and to sh showcase our characters once again in the director's seat, it was an honor and that I'm truly grateful for. Oh, absolutely. That's so wonderful to hear. And what I love about Zootopia Plus is that each short is inspired by a different genre of TV shows and movies. How did you decide what to draw inspiration from? And what was it like bringing these references into the Zootopia Plus world? Yes, you know what, Jenny? I'm going to credit Trent Cole who is my fellow director, because Trent really is the one who came up with this hilarious concept of showing different genres for each episode and really to parody them. He knew he wanted to do reality TV or he wanted to do film noir. He wanted to do an action short. And so some of them he knew from the beginning and then others, we explored the idea of a musical episode. Mm. Because we're Disney, we have to have a <laughs> musical. It was a blast, really, to be able to play with different genres. But it was a huge challenge for our creative team because each short was their own little movie and they had to come up with different styles. It was a fun challenge, that's all I'll say. October is Filipino American History Month, which celebrates and honors the first Filipinos to come to America. What does it mean to you to honor those who came before you? You know what? It just makes me so proud, Jenny, to honor Filipinos here in America and in the Philippines. I think about it all the time. And I know I was really lucky when I got to Disney Animation. I was lucky because there were a lot of fellow Filipinos in the animation industry and those who worked at Disney. So I knew I wasn't alone and it really, it, it was so helpful to have that support. So yeah, I'm so incredibly proud to represent Filipinos, Filipino Americans, those in the Philippines, because it's such a beautiful culture. Oh, that's amazing. And how do you hope to impact your community and the world with the work that you're doing now? I want to showcase 
Filipinos. I want to make Filipinos proud. I want to honor my family, you know, all the sacrifices that they made immigrating to the U.S. and let them know that it, it's worth it, mm -hmm. you know, and I hope one day to share our stories as Filipinos for Filipinos to see themselves on screen. I, that would be a true joy. I love that you say that because I have a, a good friend who's Filipino and he recently saw himself represented in animation and he was posting about it everywhere. He was like, oh my gosh, I just cried because I saw myself represented in animation. So I'm glad that you're out there doing this for your community and for others to learn. Thank you, absolutely. And what characters or stories do you hope to see represented in the future? You know, I... Absolutely, Filipino Americans for themselves to see themselves on screen and really to have a diversity of characters and cultures and have have everyone sort of see themselves on screen. That would be beautiful, I think. That would be beautiful and that is so necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Again, thank you so much for joining us today and talking to everyone about Zootopia Plus and all of your work. Well, thanks for having me again, Jenny. It's been really fun. All episodes of Zootopia Plus are streaming November 9th on Disney Plus. Hi, I'm Laura Donnelly from Marvel Studios special presentation, Werewolf by Night, now streaming on Disney Plus. And now here's what's new. If you're looking for something to watch to get ready for Halloween, the Halloween Collection on Disney Plus has you covered. In Marvel Studios' special presentation, Werewolf by Night, a secret cabal of monster hunters emerge from the shadows and gather at the foreboding Bloodstone Manor following the death of their leader. The attendees are thrust into a mysterious and deadly competition for a powerful relic, a hunt that will ultimately bring them face to face with a dangerous monster. From National Geographic, Supernatural takes you inside the secret powers and super senses of the world's most extraordinary animals. The Sanderson sisters are back for Hocus Pocus 2. After the black flame candle is lit, it's up to three teenagers to stop the witches from wreaking havoc on All Hallows Eve. But if I'm being honest with you, I would have done exactly what Gilbert did. Sorry. If you're feeling musical this Halloween, you can catch Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas sing-along and the Into the Woods sing-along. Plus, on Halloween, you can catch a very special Halloween-themed episode of Dancing with the Stars streaming live on Disney+. Plus. It's more mummies, more problems, and under wraps too. In this Disney original movie, mummies Harold and Rose are in danger when their mummy rival Sobek awakens. It's up to Amy, Gilbert, and Marshall to save the day. For even more Halloween movies and series, you can stream the Halloween Collection now on Disney+. Plus. It's almost time for the next regeneration. Doctor Who is coming in 2023 to Disney+. Plus. We love a good friendcation. In the soup, friendcation is now streaming on Disney+. Plus. Two stories of fate, one destiny. Tales of the Jedi, a series of six original shorts, is now streaming. It's the beginning of a new melody. Soundtrack number one in original series is now streaming. Chris Hemsworth might not be a literal god, but he's on a mission to unlock his body's superpowers. Discover the full potential of the human body in Limitless with Chris Hemsworth, an original series streaming November 16th on Disney+. Plus. Alone, they could only dream of volcanoes. Together, they can reach them. Discover the story story of volcanologists Katja and Maurice Kraft in Fire of Love streaming November 11th. So much to look forward to on Disney+. Plus. I personally can't wait to see Warwick Davis return in Willow. I grew up watching Willow and now to see a continuation of this epic story and watch the cast just explore new lands and put their lives in danger to save the world is just, it's got me really excited. And the brownies are back. I'm also really excited to see Disenchanted because the whole cast is reunited 15 years later and we've got some fun new cast members like Maya Rudolph and finally the Santa Clauses. It has been a long tradition of mine to watch all the Santa Claus films during the holidays and I cannot wait to add this one to my watch list. We get to see Scott Calvin find a replacement for himself which can't be easy because those are some pretty big boots to fill. You can catch all of these coming soon to Disney+. Plus. We talked to Zootopia Plus director Josie Trinidad and got ready for Halloween. That's our show. Oop, I thought I turned off my phone while filming. Uh, hello. Hey, Jenny. Andre? I just watched the episode. 
how we're still filming. Don't worry about that. I just wanted to say congratulations on a great show. Thanks, Andre. I've actually been working on some jokes for my episode. Let me know what you think. <clears throat> knock, knock. Well, 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 hold on one second. I have to wrap up the episode. Be sure to head on over to Disney Plus to stream all of these and more. We'll see you next time. Who's there? What do you mean, who's there? It's Andre. Good evening. Ah. Uh.